we're just a few days into spring, and so I'm late getting my onions into the ground. We're in southern Kentucky. I should have had onions in the ground about three weeks ago, uh, but here we are today, better late than never. They might not get as big as what I would like to have, but that's okay. I'll get them in the ground anyway. Uh, so we're gonna be planting some candy onions. These are intermittent day onions. I've never planted intermittent day onions before. So I really don't know to, what to expect. Uh, I'm, I'm really a bigger fan of either doing short day or long day. Uh, these are Texas legends. These are short day. So if you remember when we were in Michigan, uh, we could plant long day on, onions. And so we had uh, Walla Wallas uh, that are a good solid long day onion. And, and those were wonderful. Uh, but I've heard a lot of good about Texas Legends, and so I'm really excited to try these out. These came from Dixondale Farms, and uh, you can order through their website and, and get them in the mail. They're great because you can uh, go online and, and pick the day that you want for them to send them to you. That way you don't get them too early or, or too late, and they'll be right on time. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get these in the ground uh, in our 4x8 bed. And uh, this bed has 50% manure compost. And I use black cow compost for that, and then I have 50% uh, premium topsoil. And that's all that's in the bed right now. I am going to add in some bone meal for phosphorus and calcium. And that's gonna help out just a little bit with root growth and uh, just to kind of help encourage root growth and get things started. But you know, the most important thing for onions is gonna be your nitrogen. And so I'm using blood meal for nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen is gonna really in, uh, increase and encourage good uh, leaf growth, which is really important for onions because with every leaf you have, that's a layer on your onion. And so you want lots of leaves, lots of layers to grow a nice, big, healthy onion. So I'm going to be uh, just kind of uh, getting the, the bed ready and mixing it all around with my hands, which I love to do. I love to get my hands in the dirt and planting these onions. Obviously, I have way more onions than what I need for a 4x8. Uh, my plan was just to buy the Texas Legends, but then I saw these candies and I, was, I just thought, man, maybe I should get these too. So... Uh, I got them both here anyway, and, and we'll give them a try. I'm going to plant mostly the Texas Legends, and I'm going to plant some of the candies as well, and maybe I'll put some of the rest of these in a little pot a little pot or something, do some container gardening with onions, uh, give that a try. I'm going to start off here by just kind of digging in the soil. It's pretty wet. We've had a lot of rain, uh, but it's still draining pretty well. I have cardboard underneath this. Um, which honestly I was a little concerned about how well this would drain with cardboard if it would pool up and it, and it hasn't. Um, so I did, the, I did the cardboard as thin as I could. The only reason I put down cardboard was so um, I just, I really, I didn't want to till up the ground but I wanted to kill off the weeds and so I thought that putting down the cardboard would be a good way to do that. I can kind of do both at the same time and just deal with it that way. So, and then it will decompose over a little bit of time here. It'll just decompose on its own and go away. And most of those weeds hopefully will be gone and they won't come up through the raised bed. This is about six, seven inches of soil I have here. Oh, this is nice and rich soil. Uh, I forgot to I mention, I, I do have a little bit of perlite in here as well. So, which is probably unnecessary, but it's in there anyway. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is let's get out some bone meal here. And not Usually I'd stick my hand down inside of it for a scoop, but I don't want to get soil all inside the bag, so I'm just going to kind of give everything a dusting. I'm going to work that in just in the top layer. All right, so there we had our bone meal, and now we're going to add our blood meal. I'm just going to do something similar with it. I'm going to be a little more heavy on the blood meal, however, you do kind of got to watch this because it's the same color as the soil. Okay, it's getting kind of dark, so I want to make sure to get these in the ground. Uh, it's tough when you're working a full-time job and you're trying to do things like this, uh, but it's nice too when spring comes and you start to have longer days and you can get more done. 
So I'm gonna put the candies in the ground first. I'm gonna start off with, uh, you know, I think I'm gonna do mostly bigger ones here. And I'm just gonna put these things right into the ground. Now down here, I'm gonna do several of these candies real close together because I'm gonna pull a lot of these for green onions. But I will grow some bigger ones too. These is that you just barely get them into the ground. I'll put them about every two inches for the ones I'm gonna use as green onions. So we're gonna go ahead and, and end this one. I'm gonna get these onions into the ground. But with uh, green onions, you could go, I mean, you could go out an inch apart. You can go two inches apart. It doesn't really make a huge difference if you're going to do green onions. You just pull them out of the ground way before they're ready, or way before they're, they're big. Uh, but if you're going to try to get a big, nice onion, especially if you're looking at two-pounders, uh, which I'm hoping to get out of these Texas legends for sure, uh, then you need to go about four inches apart on each of the onions. So just keep that in mind. And uh, I am going to go ahead and water this down a little bit uh, once I get all the onions put into the soil and just uh, kind of help out that uh, phosphorus and uh, calcium and nitrogen, help that to just kind of permeate the soil and, and get into these little onions here and get them started. So that's going to be it. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Hope you like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.